Welcome back everybody to another episode of IGN Strategize. I'm Greg Miller and today we're looking at the dead ghost collectibles in Destiny. They're hidden all over the maps and will add bonus points and info to your grimoire deck. You'll unlock the Ghost Hunter trophy or achievement for picking up 50 of them, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to show you how to find every single one. There's more than 60 ghosts to find, and all in all, some of them are really well hidden. The game begins on Earth, that's where we're going to start. You can pick up two ghost shells in the opening mission. One in the ceiling right after you pick up your first assault rifle, and a second one in the large chamber where you fight the large group of fallen. It's beneath some piping on the left hand wall. Next you can find two ghosts in the Divide, where the Devil Walker public event occurs. One is up on top of the billboard scaffolding where you came out of the breach. The other is in a large cylindrical tube near the exit to the rocket yard area. In the steps you can pick up a ghost in the shed near the crash guardian ship and grab another on your way towards the mafia. It's down in the middle of that deep trench near the rear wall. Use this airplane wing of the north side of the Moth Yards to jump across to the cave above. There's a ghost inside, but be careful if you're under level 7 or 8 since there are a couple of fallen there. Before heading through the canyon, be sure to enter the darkened room in the Lunar Complex, where you fight the Hive for the first time, and pick up the ghost on top of the machine box on the right hand side of the room. While making your way towards the Forgotten Shore, stop and climb into this cave and grab the ghost nestled in the back corner. There's also a gold chest in here if you haven't gotten it yet. Once you do make it up to the shore, pick the one that's sitting in the cabin of the destroyed boat in the center of the area. There's one more in this area, though there have been intermittent reports of it not appearing for certain players. Head down the stairs into the RAS2 bunker. The ghost is underneath the bottom of the set of stairs, but be careful! There's three high-level hive knights waiting for you down there. Try and take them out if you like, but your best bet is to snag the ghost and get out. If you're feeling brave, head northeast from the Forgotten Shore towards the Grotto's area. It's full of level 20s, so be ready and make your way past the first two dregs down the path along the cliffs on the left. Follow it to its end and pick up the ghost sitting near the end of the large pipe. There are two more ghosts hanging out in the Skywatch area. The first is in the terrestrial complex inside a locker on the right side of this hall you'll pass by in the story mission, The War Mine, and another beneath the helipad in Skywatch proper. Be careful heading into the bombed out room here though. There's a level 18 hive monster guarding the ghost that's on the south wall. On the other side of the map in the rocket yards area you'll encounter a servitor and a few dregs fighting some hive. On the ledge above them sits a ghost. Hop up and grab it, or get around to the other side and climb up that way. Once you make it inside the refinery, either in a patrol session or during the strike mission, you'll find a large room full of boxcars where the Fallen and Hive are duking it out. Off to one side, there's an open door through which you'll find another ghost. The last ghost shell is in the area called The Blast, where you'll fight a Devil Walker in the strike mission. Run into the building to the left of the tank and head up the stairs. Your ghost is on the wall across from you. There's also four in the tower. One up the stairs from the main tower plaza. One in the speaker's chamber in tower north. Another on the way out of the hall of guardians on the workbench here. And another above you in the traveler's walk area which only opens for the iron banner. It's at the end of the walkway on the right hand side. Moving on to the moon, thankfully there are fewer dead ghosts here than on Earth, but unfortunately there's no shortage of horrible, horrible monsters trying to kill you. We'll start off on the moon's surface, then head underground into the hive's lair. Where you first spawn in the Archer Lines area, head to the accelerator structure on your left. Cross under the large pipes and jump up to a scaffolding to find the ghost. Next in the same area, make your way to the Smash Dome. There's a ghost sitting on the ledge in the crevasse on the right side of the structure. In the Anchor of Light area, get to the spot with the large radio tower looking thing and hop up onto the third level of struts to claim another ghost. For the last surface ghost, head towards the Hellmouth entrance from the Archer's Line area. There's a path that leads off to the right towards the destroyed Lunar Colony. Head into the first building you come to, bear right and bam, ghosts on the desk along the wall. 
Heading underground from the Hellmouth, follow the halls toward the gatehouse and pause when you reach the first open room. The ghost is to your left, down a small ledge jutting out from the floor, but be careful climbing down for it. It's all too easy to slip off the ledge here. Heading into the Halls of Wisdom from the Circle of Bones, head down the bridge and look to the right. There you'll see a ghost on a ledge against the wall. Back in the Circle of Bones, there's a ghost that's exceptionally tricky to get. Facing the pit in the middle, head around the circle to your left. There are two hollowed knights nearby, so either dispatch them or move quickly. You'll need to jump onto the thin railing, then super jump across to the opposite side of the platform. The ghost is in the center of the corridor opposite where you start. The next subterranean moon ghost is way easier, though it can only be gotten during the Shrine of Oryx mission. Just before you enter the shrine for the final battle, you'll pass through a room with six glowing columns in it. The ghost is on the right wall, just past the final column. The final ghost on Earth's moon will require special skills to get to. Titans need their enhanced jump height, while hunters will need to upgrade their gunslinger subclass to have the triple jump ability. During the World's Grave mission or in patrol, make your way to the bottom of the World's Grave area. You can actually see the ghost here through a window on your way down. Once at the bottom, climb up onto this rock and then jump onto the crumbling pillar across from it. Use your Titan jump or triple jump to reach the rounded platform across from you, then hop to the ledge circling the room. From here, you can super jump up the next two platforms where you'll finally reach the last ghost. That'll do it for the moon. Let's move on to Venus. We're almost halfway there. Why are there so many? When you first jump into a patrol session on Venus, you'll find yourself in the Headlands area. There's a ghost sitting on the backside of a stalagmite in the middle of the third puddle or pool or whatever from where you start. Heading toward the Shattered Coast, you can find another ghost shell near this outcropping in the backseat of a car. Use the blue van as a landmark. The next one we'll show you is in the Ishtar Academy where your first mission on Venus ends. At the far end of the hall where you enter, hop up on the crates and super jump to the third level. There's a ghost about halfway down on the left hand side. If you're heading towards the Ishtar Cliffs instead of the Academy, immediately turn to your left as soon as you're out of the jungle pathway. A ghost is sitting on the high rock by the tree. You'll have to be careful in the walking ruins as there can be a lot of high level vex around. But to get the ghost that's in here, you'll need to head towards the large structure at the far end where the Vault of Glass raid begins. Hop up to this set of concrete blocks, then double jump up to the top level and head towards the broken teleportation gate. On top of the stones to the left is another ghost. Next up is the Campus 9 area, and this one is actually fairly easy to get. If you're coming from the ruins, leap your way to the top of the stones opposite the entrance, above the orange structure with the solar panel roofing. Then double jump up to the stones above. The ghost is on the platform across from you. There are two ghosts in the Ishtar Commons area. One is to your right as you enter in a small room off the hallway up the stairs. The other is on top of the awning of the large rounded building directly in the center of the commons. Also a nice vantage point to watch the fallen Vex firefight from. Pro tip. Entering the NGen branch area, be careful of the Vex around here and get the ghost that's lying next to the computer console on the second floor. There's another ghost unique to the Nexus Strike mission in this area. In the Digicite 4 lab area, run past the Vex to the other side of the lab and go through the open door to find a ghost in the sink. If you miss this during the strike, it can be accessed in a patrol mode as well. Just crouch jump through the hall window in Engine to get into the dig site area. One more near the Ishtar Commons is the Hall of Whispers. Near the archive, head up the stairs on the right and follow the catwalk around to grab the ghost sitting up in the tree. Heading into the Ember Caves outside Winter's Lair, head straight through the center of the zone when coming from the headlands. There's a cave at the far edge with the ghost inside. Moving into the Winter's Lair, follow the main path until you reach this large room full of fallen and or vex. 
Follow the path up the left hand side to the back wall where you'll find a small opening. Follow it around into the cave to collect another ghost. Finally, the last ghost on Venus is around the Endless Steps, where you fought the Vex Gate Lord to open the... You know, never mind, it doesn't matter. Get to this spot and look for a single white column of light on the far end of the area. Make your way there and use your upgraded jumps to get to the stone platform on the right, then up to the top of the pillar. The last ghost is all the way at the top. Oh man, is that it? At last we made it, we're done! Nope, Mars. Okay, bearing through Mars as fast as we can. In the Barrens, where you start off in patrol, head straight ahead of you and find a bunch of Vex and Cabal fighting. The Cabal are coming from a flat round building. Inside on a crate, there's a ghost. Next up, when you get to this big set of buildings in the Scab Lands area, head underneath the walkway with yellow lights and turn to the left. There's a ghost sitting on a flat metal area behind the wall. From here, there are two you can pick up in the Valley of Kings. One is lying on the side of the central path, while the other you'll need to get atop this outpost building to get to. Once you're on top of it, jump across to the rocky outcropping to grab the other ghost. Next, in the Rubicon Firebase area, Head through the entryway and towards the rear left wall. There's a small crack you can slip through to find a tree behind. A ghost is sitting there in the tree's roots. The next one is particularly difficult to nab. On the iron line, the underground with the floodlights, you'll need a titan or a hunter with triple jump again. First, get up to the second level balcony by way of these blue pipes on the left. Then jump to the platform on the pillar of the center of the room. From there, leap up to the platform above and finally jumping across to the rocks and pick up the ghost. This ended up being our 50th earning the Ghost Hunter trophy, but there's still a few left to collect. I have a degree in journalism and this is my life. Okay, from the Scablands, head towards Giant's Pass where you first encounter Cabal Centurions and head up the hill to the right. At the foot of the tree at the top sits a dead ghost. Moving on into the trench works, hop up onto the rocks to the left of the outpost building, yeah, the one that sort of looks like Master Chief, and turn around. There's a ghost tucked down between some rocks and the wall. Heading into the drift zone, you'll see two gnarled old trees ahead of you. There's another ghost hanging out in one of their high up branches. Heading from the barrens into the hollows, head inside the domed building and hop up onto this lighting fixture to be able to jump to the third level balcony. There's a ghost opposite you on the top catwalk. From the hollows, you can head into the Dust Palace, where you'll need to fight your way down into the lower lobby, then make your way up the left-hand side staircase. Hop onto the crate near the door to get to the top ledge, then jump across to a window where a ghost lies waiting. Moving on into the nearby Overwatch area, pass through the main doors of Clovis Bray Exoscience and head to the left. Below the rear corner staircase is a desk with a ghost underneath it. Next, you'll want to check out the subterranean Buried City area, though the first ghost in this spot is actually above ground. Hop onto what looks like a vending machine, then onto the roof of the off-world transit building and collect the ghost that's resting on the back of the sign. The closest one you'll find next is down in the darkness of Freehold Station, though this is another one that's reportedly buggy. It may be there, it may not, but it should be on top of this monitor you can jump to after following the right wall up a staircase. Continuing through the subway, make your way to Tharsis Junction, where you'll find a bunch of rusted out train cars. Head through the doorway by the Vex Gateway and turn immediately to your right. On top of the rubble pile on the far wall is another dead ghost. Oh man! Okay, okay guys, home stretch. We're almost there. Everybody buckle down. We're gonna do this. The final three ghosts can only be accessed in missions, the first being in the Garden's Spire. After fighting through the Iron Line and into the Legion's Keep, Take a moment before activating the spire to go down into the base and collect the ghost that's lying on the ground there. The last two are both in the final campaign mission, the Black Garden. The first of the last can be found immediately after passing through the gateway into the Black Garden itself. 
jump up onto these rocks on your left, then to the stone platform and onto the tree branch and super jump across the other side to collect the ghost. Finally, finally, the very last dead ghost can be found after exiting the claustrophobic halls. Head to the right, into the garden, then keep along the ledge on your left until you come to the end. Jump down onto the ledge below to collect the final dead ghost in the game. Oh my god, we did it. That's 60 ghosts and like, that was a lot of jumping and climbing and searching. Thank you all for sticking with us through that. Enjoy your trophies and achievements. Remember, for more info on these and other collectibles, be sure to check out our full wiki and for everything else concerning Destiny, Ghosts, Peter Dinklage, uh, Susan Eisenberg, guns, gear, spaceships, everything else, you know, just stay here in IGN. I need oxygen. Like a tank. And a thing of wings.